what is up guys, it is your boy Lieutenant Edfish, and today I'm going to be telling a story, and this story is about the time someone got me screwed over for something really stupid, and if you guys notice anything different with my next few videos, yes guys, I did get, manage to get this stupid thing out of the thing, if you guys notice it, just tell me, but it's basically just the, um, what's it called, I forgot what it's called, the time thing telling me how long my video is, it's like it was on the top right corner, it's like really annoying me, because I felt like you guys weren't getting the best quality, so I just decided you know, to find a way to edit it out every video, which means I take longer to edit on my laptop, which is, it's, it's pretty cool, I mean, it's not like, it's not, it's not like I had cropped the video out completely, I just edited it, and, but before I get into the story, today is my birthday, I am officially 12 years old, and I'm gonna be double uploading today too, that's pretty cool, just for two time. just for, since I'm 12 years old too, pretty cool, before I get into it, before I get into the video though, my sponsor, Activate Graphics, um, I like to thank them just for giving me a birthday code. So my birthday code is literally birthday. If you guys use code birthday, you will get 15% off any graphic design, which is pretty cool. Any of their graphic designs, and they're really good. And that is literally just 5% le less than their birthday code. I mean, than their Christmas code, which is just really generous and just really awesome in my opinion. Because like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like it's 15% off for you guys, not for me. I don't gain anything from this code like my usual code. I don't get anything off of this. I mean, it's not like I'm a sellout or anything. I don't get anything off of this. I really want you guys to go get a graphic design, though. Just because they're, like, that good and, like, it's 15% off, so you don't even got to pay that much because they're not that expensive. It's not like they're $100 each. But one day, I decided to go to Dunkin' Donuts, and if you guys don't know, in my town, my spe specific house, there's, like, a lot of stores near it, and there happens to be a Dunkin' Donuts near it. So I decided, you know, I'm going to go down to Dunkin' Donuts, I'm going to get, like, a donut, and I'm going to, like, j just basically chill for, like, an hour, come back, and, like, play video games for the rest of my day. Life. Not life. I mean, day. Which is, like, one second. Seriously, dude, I just merged lob. I just, we just literally switched toasts, and the switch toast we had was worse than the one we had before. Oh, I'm playing COD in the background, I'm sorry about it. It looks like two different games. But this, ha but one day I decided to go down. But before I go in, before I go in there, the, probably I can't tell the, you guys the name of the store because then you'll know exactly where I live. Like it's five seconds away from my house. And so I basically go in there and have like a lot of like games, video games, and like gaming stuff. And it's like really cool. Like you can get a lot of gaming accessories. Like I think for my birthday, I think I ordered. I'm not sure when it's gonna get here. I ordered a Perca Cola shirt. And if you don't know what Perca Cola is, go play Black Ops Three Zombies. And if you Still don't know what it is by then. I'm just not gonna just just, just like unsubscribe. Nah, I'm joking. Don't unsubscribe. But I just decided to go in there and I I wanted to get a headset from the start. I just didn't know where to get it from, and I just decided since I'm already up there, I might as well just get it from there. Which makes a lot of sense. Like if you if you're really close to somewhere and you just decide to go, I I rather go na I rather go sooner than later if it makes sense. Like not just go later and then have have to do it later. But I was just going to come go play video games, get gameplay for my videos, because at the time I did put, have the same YouTube channel. I just didn't mention it or anything, because I didn't really tell stories at first, or life stories, or commentaries, or anything at all like this. But I decided to go in there, and I get my headset, and it's and it's a good 20 minutes from what, it's a good 20 minutes that I'm in there. So it's it's like I have, I'm, I was probably going to be there for a long longer time. But then I decided to go in and, Dunkin' Donuts and I get like a chocolate donut and I get my chocolate donut and there's this weird guy as soon as I walked in there I noticed him he was in the back booth and he had like his he had his face was all red he had a hood up and he had glasses on now I had like for a less than a split second I I kept eye contact with them and then I just immediately turned to the menu to make it look like I just gazing over there but I get it and I guess this guy wanted, like, a free donut or something, and he knew that they weren't going to believe an 11-year-old. Like, they probably thought I would steal. But it's, I really would never steal like, someone's donut. But he says, hey, you stole my donut. You stole my chocolate donut. You know that that's mine. And I said, I, I didn't even know he was talking to me at first. And he was like, first you're going to give me a dirty look, and then you're going to steal my donut? No, no, give it back. And then at this point, a manager comes out, but... I literally did not give him a dirty look. I looked at him for a split second. I promise you, I looked at him for a split second. And then he's just, like, complaining and calling me, like, a scumbag. And then the manager comes out and says, did this kid steal it? And then I guess because the douche, the douchebag person I had, he was just 
such a scumbag for this. He left in a, such a hurry that he did not give me a receipt. So, it made it look like I actually stole it more than it looked at before because he didn't have any proof before. But I didn't have any proof that I bought it, but I swore I bought the donut. Like, I'm 100% sure. But they just didn't believe me. They just believed this guy. And they made me give the donut to him. But me being stingy, I didn't give it to him just because it's my donut and I paid for it with my own money. And a lot of people would have just gave him the donut. But me, no, I just wouldn't give him the donut just because it's my donut and I literally paid out of my own pocket for it. Which really just annoyed me. And then the manager's like, stay here then. It seems you don't want to give him the donut. I'm going to call the security. Now, security comes with the police car. And I don't know what they thought. I don't know if they said I stole something, like, if I stole money. But they literally were just like, oh, my. They, the cops came in and started just, they gave me a whole lecture about how stealing people's food is bad. And how would you feel if someone came up to you and stole your food? And I literally just started getting annoyed at this point. So I said, I did not steal his. This is my donut. And they literally took, he snatched the donut out of my hand. And since he's going to snatch it out of my hand, I snatched it back and said, look, I didn't see the donut. Check the cameras. And I don't know why I didn't say this earlier. I literally said, check the cameras. And if this, and if the cameras show me taking it from him, I'll pay you a million dollars. And I'll get, here's my number. Call me if my, if me going over to him and me giving him a dirty look is on that tape. And they basically reviewed it and I never got a phone call. So basically, I still got to keep my donut. But if I ever see that police officer again, I'm pretty sure he's going to yell at me. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen him in a while. And I've been back there. And I'm not banned at all. 